All right, well, greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's a pretty uh, breezy day out here, as you can probably tell, the wind. Um, I do have a wind muff on my microphone, so it should uh, hopefully cut most of that noise out. So I'm back here in a place I was at just a couple of weeks ago here at Kircher Creek Lake uh, County Park. And I was hiking around that, the lake that day, but I did find that railroad culvert or tunnel down here below. And I said I'd come back and do a video. And that's what I'm here for today. So I'm currently sitting on a section of the abandoned railroad that's here. And I'll talk more about the history of this railroad when we get down below and out of this wind a little bit, down closer to the, the culvert of the tunnel. And uh, where it's a little bit warmer too, it's kind of cold up here in the wind. I, I didn't really dress as warm as I should have today, but I'm not gonna be out here for too long. So I'm gonna show you this section of the abandoned railroad, and then we're gonna get off of it and get down where it's a little bit warmer. This is actually a very high raised up section of the railroad. I guess what you call the, an embankment, one of the preserved sections of it. And then uh, we'll get down out of the wind, all right? So here is this section of abandoned railroad. It gets kind of cut off over there because of development and stuff. There's some houses up here, but I was just sitting right there. And it continues out just to here. It's just a short, short section of it. And down here is the little valley that the creek flows through. Down, down there is where the culvert is, and the railroad would have continued way up over there somewhere. There, there's more embankment, so I'm not sure, because right here is the edge of it. I guess at one time they were going to build a bridge across here. Of course, this railroad is never finished, so I'm not sure. I guess that's what the plans were, because way up there is the other end of this embankment. I'm going to go ahead and get on back down there down to where that culvert is, and I'll get back to you. So way up there is where I just was. That's the old railroad bed. And the culvert is just up this old road here, so I'm not entirely sure if the culvert was just for the railroad or if this road was here back then as well. I'm not entirely sure about that. But there, I did see something down here as well that I didn't see initially, so let's go check. I don't know if you can see there's like a little doorway down there. Let's go check this out while we're here. Yeah, there's a better look at what I'm seeing, but there's a lot of, uh, of thorns down here. Let's see if I can get down there. I like this, like an old window here. Yeah, just a little room in here. Almost looks like someone had a bed in here. It's kind of interesting. I do have my camera lights, but they're outside. I don't think we need them in here too much. Beer can, so maybe, who knows? I guess you could almost live down here. <laughs> a little hole up there. Kind of interesting. Just looking back. Well, it is a lot warmer in here. It's pretty windy out there. Yeah, it's actually a lot warmer in here. Just, uh, wasn't quite so windy when I left home, but once we got out here, it just got, it just got really windy. And colder, too. Anyway, that's the way it is, but yeah. I'm not gonna say it, but, you know, I could totally live here. I'm not gonna say it. I don't know if I would wanna live in this little this little concrete shack though. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the railroad or not. I'm not really sure what it is. I didn't even know it was here, but it's an added bonus for just being out here exploring. All right, I'll give you one last look and then we'll get back to our main objective, the, the culvert of the tunnel. And I am gonna walk through, I brought my muck boots, we're gonna walk through the tunnel with my lights. That's the plan for today. And like I said, I'm not really sure what this was for. I mean, there's kind of concrete over there and on the side here almost looks like this was Oh, whoops, almost fell. Looks like this was open at one time almost. Uh, I don't know. Could be just a spring house or not sure. Right, I'm going to back up and out of here. Try to get to that culvert. So down here is where the culvert is. 
for the tunnel, you can see it straight down there. Let's go ahead and make our way down there. Last time I was here, I was on the other side of it down here. But there's some uh, ugly fencing down there as well, so I'm gonna check out this side. And we'll talk, uh, I'll give you some history about this as well then, once we get down there. All right, so I'm standing up on top of this tunnel right now. We'll be, got, we'll be down there in a minute, but up above me is the old road bed. I thought that was the railroad bed the first time I was here, but the railroad bed is actually, like I said, pointed out, it's much, much higher up, way up there, much higher up is where the railroad bed is, so I'm not sure if this culvert was build, built just for the railroad or for an old road here either. Not really sure what they're doing. If you have more information about that, you can let me know. And like I said, th this whole rail line was unfinished. It dates back to the 1850s. They never finished it, so I'm not... It's hard to say what exactly they were going to do here. You know, was this tunnel slash culvert just for the railroad? I'm sure it's built around that time. It has that look to it. But uh, online, I couldn't come across anything directly about this particular culvert, just the railroad that they were building here. Which, uh, once I get down below, I'll talk a little bit more about it. So here's our first look at the tunnel. And it is a lot uh, less windy down here. I probably should have done my intro down here where we're out of the wind, but I wanted to show that spot to you up there as well. And now I keep calling this tunnel slash culvert. Um, I get scolded by uh, railroad enthusiasts sometimes when I come across a tunnel and I'm told it's a culvert. You know, if the train goes through it, it's a tunnel, but if it's a if it's something that goes underneath the railroad bed, it's a culvert. But culvert does not sound as interesting as tunnel. So I like so in the title I call this a tunnel and I put culvert in parentheses. Because I guess that's technically what it is, but you know, abandoned tunnel sounds a lot better, you know, than abandoned culvert. But all right, well I'm gonna get my uh, my muck boots on, get my camera situated on, you know, with my little setup for the lights. And I'll tell you a little bit of brief history and then we will quit yapping and we'll go in explore this tunnel it's not it doesn't go real far but you know it's always cool to walk in and explore these places all right so this is what was called the Allentown Railroad and this was proposed in the 1850s it was kind of meant to be like a, a connector line um, connecting two other railroads if I got that correctly kind of like a short it said going all the to take stuff from down this area up towards New York instead of going all the way to Philadelphia and then up to New York uh, to cut up through Reading and Allentown, stuff like that. Um, but it never happened. Um, they did a lot of work on it in like 1855. And that's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's when this uh, culvert slash tunnel was built in 1855. But then in 1857, there was an economic depression known as the Panic of 1857. And that, along with competition from another rail line similar to this one, to, similar to this one that was finished before this one, both those things kind of effectively ended the Allentown Railroad. You know, why finish building this one if the uh, if the competing rail line finished? And then they, you know, there's no point in finishing this one. And plus with the economic depression, it was just not feasible to finish this one. So you have leftovers, leftovers of it all along through this area. There's a tunnel, there's an actual railroad tunnel. Well, it's, uh, it's incomplete as well. It's incomplete as well. It's called the Windsor Tunnel or the Windsor Castle Tunnel. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to that one. It's on private property. Um, sometimes property owners are cool about stuff like that, and sometimes they're not, but anyway, that's a little bit of history of this. So I'm pretty sure this has been sitting here since 1855, so it's pre-Civil War, which makes it, which makes it interesting. So we're going to go on in shortly here, check it out, take a little walk through history. And just before I go, and I do want to mention too that if you do know more about this culvert or this tunnel um, than I do, go ahead, feel free in the comments to to give more history or more information like you know couldn't find a whole lot online about you know whether this was just a railroad culvert or for a road as well because that kind of looks like maybe it was for both um just uh since it was a railroad that was never finished yeah there tends to not be a whole lot of information about it so if you i know there are some railroad 
railroad guys out there know a whole lot more than I do. You know, if you want to share some of your knowledge, feel free to do so down below in the comments. Um, I'm not a I'm not a know-it-all railroad person. I just love coming out here and exploring these places. So, all right, I'm talking too much. Let's get in there. All right, well, here we go. Got my boots on. Make our way in. And as you can see, like I said, it's not very long, but we're gonna go walk through and explore it anyway. Just hope it's not too deep. It's all stone lined. Bit of a breeze blowing through here too. Taking a walk through history here. Oh, that's neat. You can see, you can see the sunlight. You know, it, the water's rippling, so the sunlight is rippling. You know, it's reflecting off the walls there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Actually, that that has that's just a neat effect there. All right, let's get to the other end here. I do have my camera lights on, but it's still pretty dark in here. Part of it's because the camera is focusing on the light ahead. But these are what the walls look like in here. I'm still making my way through here. I had to pause for a moment. Or it's quite a bit deeper here. Someone built a, a little dam right there, kind of back the water up. But I think we'll uh, keep our feet dry. And the boots only go so high. It's just kind of deep here again. All right, we are 
completely out now. Of course, this is where the water from the uh, the dam comes out. There's a lake on the other side there, the Kircher Creek Lake. And this is kind of where the uh, the water spills out of it. Say that kind of fence there. And then turn it around. Here's the other end of the tunnel. All right, well, I'm gonna make my way back through. I'm not gonna film going all the way back through again. It's gonna be the same thing. But uh, I'm gonna try and get back through without getting my feet wet. And then I'll meet you back on either side. I'll probably, you know, take some pictures and stuff on the way back this time. All right, see you on the other end. Well, I'm not out yet, but I just wanted to quick show you this shot again with the uh, sunlight streaming in through the other end. And you can see the water rippling on the wall there again. This is an awesome photo shot there. Speaking of photos, I'm going to continue taking some, some more here. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick little adventure here. I'm not sure how long this video will be, but it was fun exploring it. You know, not, not a terribly long tunnel, but it's cold out here. I gotta, I'm gonna get back to the Jeep. I don't even bring my gloves. I may not look cold, but, because I could have dressed a little bit warmer, like I said. But anyway, I'm gonna pack up, head back to the Jeep. And I'm, I'm in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, so I'm gonna stop at uh, Cabela's here. Um, it's only like 15 minutes from where I live anyway, so I'm gonna, Go warm up in Cabela's and see if I can uh, lose any money there. No, I yeah, Cabela's is a dangerous place for me to go, but I'm usually I'm usually pretty careful when I go there. But it's a nice place to walk around sometimes and see see what's new. All right, hope you have a good day, rest of the day. Thanks for coming along and watching, and uh, thanks for supporting my channel. I'll see you around.